Okay, sorry for the weird little shadow, but I was going to show you my week two of December daily. And um, so while I get ready for that, I'll kind of flip through week one. These are the pieces that I'm not done with. I did go over it last week and I shared um, the different resources and stuff like that. And then when I am finished, I will go through the whole thing um, at one time and pull all the pieces out again and um, talk about it a little bit. But um, for the different like lines that I use and things like that, I'll just do it in the weekly checkups. So I got through just day six last week. And the reason why is because I went out of town. So I made it to here. Um, and then I'm going to start with seven and go through 13. So my weeks are still a little off, but it has been seven days. And I thought I'm going to go ahead and check back in. So this starts with seven. And, um, I created an overlay for this and made a big number seven using, actually I bought those big cork letters from Allie Edwards this year. And so I just traced it onto some paper I got at Hobby Lobby or Joanne's, I think it was Hobby Lobby. And then um, I did front and back and then glued it so that it kind of um, set this off because I went to, on a little weekend trip last week to Chicago. So the first piece is this one. And um, so what I did was I cut out the word Chicago with my um, Cricut and the eye I did put on a little piece of transparency but I've also used like the sheer or the plastic sheets that stickers come on before um, I just happen to have some leftover transparency um, I probably in retrospect would do that with each letter so they don't slip around too much but so far it's not too much of a problem I put a little piece of my ticket stub and this little um, snowflake clip which I got at Hobby Lobby this little sticker with a piece of um, stationery from the hotel, the Drake. And then this was a Jolie sticker. And then these were some Allie Edwards stickers. And I did put one little four by four square photo right there. And I did a couple on the back too. Like this was the back of that Drake paper. This was the back of the other photo. This was just our very first day. Um, this was the hotel, which I took a different day. But the hotel, inside, outside, and then the pizza we had that first night. Because we didn't get there till really late. So really the whole journey that day was the flight there so what I did was once I got to Chicago I bought a postcard and then I wrote about it the whole weekend actually right here and really small just because I didn't want to do this much journaling each day but in retrospect I did see um, some really cute ideas a lot of people are doing right now where you put a little travel journal and slip it inside one of these little sleeves and I thought that would be so cute but I'd already kind of have this planned out so if I travel anywhere in the future that's what I'll do then this first page, these are Allie Edwards pieces. This one I just snipped off the edges. This is from last year, a little transparency overlay. Put a number eight, put a little back um, picture of it. And um, this is like an old um, like tinsel piece and a snowflake from one of those kits. Um, the day in the life kits that they sell a, a Christmas themed one. So again, I saw this kind of idea and before I really planned it out, I had built it. So I just worked around what I had built, um, before I went and really before December came. So what I did is I made this little slip in pocket right here and this is day eight. Like I said, it goes with this little tag. So this little slip in, slip out. We went to the Chris Kendall market, got some popcorn at Garrett's and then the way this works it's a waterfall and I just found a tutorial online. I'm sure there is one, um, with the Ellie Edwards stuff. Cause I think this is one of the like pre pre done pages that she offered this year. So I created a little pool and, um, this pool is using, um, a little piece of half sheet paper that was in last year's kit as well. This was again, part of those, um, put together day in the life kits that you can buy at Christmas themed. And then this is day eight. And I added, this is a Hobby Lobby little mirror sticker. Um, this was more of that little tinsel. I bought this on Etsy. I don't think I said that. It's like a vintage tinsel. This was from last year's Ellie Edwards. Um, so we did the Chris Kendall market and, um, I put pictures from that. We did a zoo tour this was a Jolie, and um, then we went to Little Italy in the 8th. So it was really a really full day, and I, I definitely couldn't put all the photos here without making this too thick, but I thought this was kind of a fun way to display a selection of the photos. Then on day 9, we went to the Walnut Room in Chicago. Um, I'm from Dallas, so I had looked up what are traditional things you do in Chicago, because, of course, um, I've been here a long time, and so I have a lot of really fun traditional things that I do, and so I wanted to kind of experience Chicago 
like a Chicagoite. And um, I sat next to a lady who was great on the plane. And she gave me some great advice. And um, so we followed some of her restaurant tips and um, tricks. And we ate breakfast at the Walnut Room. Um, she had actually, actually suggested to do a later meal. But um, that fit the best of our schedule. And we had heard actually it was faster if you did breakfast. So I used a card from uh, maybe last year's kit again. And may have been this year. This little joy, though, was in this year's kit of Allie Edwards. And um, this was the art museum. So I put our ticket stub, um, the outside, and then a picture of one of the paintings there. I don't remember the name of the painting, but it's by Wood. And then I had bought this card at the art museum, too. And we had seen this um, cloud gate. And this is the outside of Macy's, the Chicago sign. We went to the cloud gate. And then this was um, the ticket stub going home. So anyway, um, I put that in the card and then they both just slip. I just made a little pocket out of this photo. So they slip right inside there and I did it a little bit out. This um, this little thing too, this little tab was last year's kit. So I don't know if those are still available, but um, I have a lot of pieces from the kits from last year. And so I'm enjoying using them now. I've been using a little bit more. So this day, um, when I got home, this is Monday, and I went to this neighborhood in town um, with my cousin and my aunt and my mom. We just kind of had a girls' night. We went out to see these Christmas lights in Deerfield. And so I'm um, one of my favorite places to go see Christmas lights each year. And this line right here is, um, it's the crate, I'm sorry, it's the Merry Days crate paper again. So um, I use this a couple couple times ago and I'm gonna you'll see I use it again and I just I love it and I added this little guy some ribbon I got Hobby Lobby um, this little snowflake which is a Jolie and then this again <laughs> is a number from last year so I'm excited to be using those and then some of these little puff stickers are from that line that I bought and then some um, little uh, sequins so just trying to jazz up and trying to keep it a little bit more simple because I had made those nine eight nine and ten kind of fat day 10 um I actually had an ear appointment so my mom and I went to a late lunch because I had the day off work because it was just the worst timing for appointments so I couldn't really take a half day but went out to this German restaurant called Kubi's out in Dallas um and then went to Stein's and got some bakery cookies and um this paper that I used here is actually, oh man, one of my favorite old lines. Um, it's October Afternoon, and they're all different pieces from October Afternoon. I made this little flap using washi, but I have found them on Etsy, the um, discontinued lines. I know that they sold their company to another scrapbook company, but I don't know what it is, and it's not really the same vintage style, but you can also find it... Um, like I said, on Etsy, the discontinued pieces um, that people have sold through the years. So then on day 12, um, I kept it real simple. Used this card from Ellie Edwards. This uh, was from the kit this year. Some lace from Hobby Lobby. And then on the back, I was working on these scarves for a charity event. And um, I've been working on this for months. And so I finally finished them. I got my serger out and um, just wrote about that. Like, so this is just a... Um, Something I'm donating, so I thought, well, it's Christmas, it's definitely the giving season, so I gave of my time and materials. And then the last thing I have, day 13, tonight I went out to eat with some friends. I wrote about it. I was inspired, really, I just copied almost um, the whole design from someone posted on the um, I believe December Daily Facebook page something very similar to this where they had used this Merry Days line again by Crate Paper and created this little thing at the top and then I like they had typed their words out and then put a little like something message across it so you can still read the words and so um, I don't remember who it is but if you go to Ellie Edwards um, that's where I get a lot of inspiration and then on the back here I put the photo and use some more Merry Days and then this is some washi tape that I have from Michael's. So um, what comes after this, um, I just had pulled some pieces that I definitely want to use and they're just sticking in there and um, things that I'll use like if I don't have much going on that day or um, I plan to use this as a tag from Target. I'm like, I have to use that this year. It's so cute. Anyway, so um, I've gotten through day 13 and then um, I'll check back in about a week with the rest of what I've got going on. So, um, so far, um, not too, not too bad. Trying to keep it not so 
thick this year so that it all fits nicely. So hopefully I can um, <clears throat> keep doing that. I've gotten through a lot of the major events, but I have a lot of like concerts and stuff this coming week, which are going to be fun to scrapbook.